Hey, what's up, Alfie? Hey, yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Good to see you, or good to meet you, finally yeah. in person. Yeah. Is that your TV behind you? Is that the projector? Is that your TV? Yeah, it was actually given to me from a friend, so I got really lucky for free, so... Oh, really? That's a yeah, good friend. Yeah, really good. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up, man? You're in, the, yeah. you're in the UK, you said, right? Yeah, I'm in the UK, um, oh, in Leicester. Cool. That's cool, man. That's cool. So, how may I help you? <laughs> yeah, um, basically, I was just uh, wondering, sort of, I've, I've got to the point where I've learned HTML, CSS, uh -huh. I've gone on to JavaScript, I've sort of nearly done my website, it should be done this week, sort of a portfolio. Yeah. And then I've got a job coming up for a uh, wedding catering company. Oh, is it like a freelance job or is it like a... Yeah, yeah, freelance job. Okay. Um, and then I've got uni offers and just what to do with them sort of thing. If, cause it's a big decision like money and sort of <laughs> what you look for in your job when you're applying sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I guess those things are important, huh? <laughs> uh, um, well, how how is the freelance job? How how is that gonna work out? Is it like just um, three months, two months, and then you're yes, out? Yes. Um, so basically, it's one client, and I've got two jobs. First, they're setting up a new startup company. Doing wow. they're converting like. I don't know if they do this in America, but there's a big thing in the UK where they like take like a horse box and they turn it into like a bar, like Art Deco, and they do like wedding receptions and that. Uh huh. So they're doing that. So they want a website and logo, and I'm doing that at the minute. Okay. And then they run a salon, which they want me to manage once I've done that. So that'll be an ongoing job, sort of thing. Oh, so it's like ongoing. You'll help them out occasionally, yeah. pretty much like on call. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, well, um, what well, what languages do you know right now? What are you What are you good at? What are your What are your skills at the moment? Yeah, You're probably better than me by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, HTML and CSS. I've done JavaScript, but I'm not that comfortable with it. Yeah. I've done like sort of messed about with PHP, doing like sort of contact forms. Okay, and that's about it. Okay, working from. That's actually what I do now. <laughs> I yeah. literally, um, I uh, I create forms all day, every day. Right. Donation yeah. forms. Uh, I do e-commerce websites. It, forms, yeah. forms. That's like the most important skill to have in regards to the websites because that's how everyone makes money. Um, yeah. Registrations, you know, to uh, e-newsletters and subscriptions and etc. So that's a good skill to have. <laughs> well, what what is your goal? What what is it that you want to do um, in the future? Dave? Do you want to like be a software engineer or is it just straight up web developer? Straight up web. Oh. Not really. That's sort of what interests me with web. Okay, web. What do you think you should do? Before I even say anything. From like your gut feeling. I think going into a job would excite me more. <laughs> You get paid, that's why. <laughs> that helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think um, yeah, it's a tough decision. Tough decision. That is a tough decision. H how old are you, Alfie? I'm 18. You're 18? Yeah. Wow. You know, if I was 18, if I was able to learn code 11 years ago, by the time I was 29, I wouldn't. I, <laughs> I'd be working <laughs> in a different company. <laughs> you know? So I'll tell you this number one, you have a lot of life ahead of you. Let's say you try different things for the next 12 years and you, and you suck at all of them. You're only 30, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just about to hit 30. So you have a, you know, you have a lot of years ahead of you. Um, well, from what I know, from the research I've done within the last couple like months, because I've been looking at like salaries all around the world compared to the US, and from what I know, in the UK, you guys don't get paid as well as we do in the US. Is that true? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So here in the U.S., you get a eighty thousand dollar, ninety thousand dollar loan. So your situation is right now, you're about to get, you got accepted to university, a good development school, right? That could teach you a lot of code. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe they'll teach you on a job experience too. But in result, you're gonna have sixty thousand dollars, sixty thousand pounds in debt after you graduate, plus interest. 
Yeah. Uh, I used to work for a loan company, and people who took about sixty thousand dollars in loans paid back a lot more than sixty thousand um, dollars yeah. after they got it. You know, so by the time you pay it off, by the time you're forty, <laughs> you probably would have paid back ninety thousand dollars in loans. And so there's a lot to take in in regards to your situation. The reason I didn't go back to school is because I'm close to thirty. And you know, me going back to school and taking up loans wouldn't make sense for my situation. <laughs> by the time I paid off my loans, it'd be time for me to retire and I would have no money to retire with. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> and so that's why I didn't go that route. And so I think it's different for everyone's situation. At that school, what kind of degree did they give you? Is it a bachelor's degree? Yeah, it's a bachelor's of science in computer science. And then wow. they start off with like, the first year is computer science and then you pick your path. So whatever, I'd go down, I'm on web development, so I'd do that. Okay. And then you get a year's placement in between the second and third year. Oh, wow. Industry. Okay. Well, from... Here in the U.S., um, usually if you pay like ninety thousand dollars in loans to get a degree, the first job you usually get, either as a software developer at like any company, you usually get paid like a hundred thousand dollars off the bat. Yeah. But I'm not sure if that's how it is in the U.K. Um, it... <laughs> I know. Uh, the thing is, you you could could land one of them. You could land the same as what I could potentially go into now. Uh huh. So it's a bit of a risk doing it. It is. But then you would learn a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about this? I, I think going to school is, you know, some people say you don't need to go to school. Some people say you don't need to go to boot camps. I think either or works for everyone. Um, I'll yeah. tell you this. If I had a bachelor's degree, if I got a degree in computer science, I would get a lot, much better jobs than what I have now. 100% guaranteed. I would get paid better than I do now. You know, um, with my with YouTube, when I'm doing things on the side too, that alone is paying for my health insurance and my car now. So I don't pay for my car anymore. <laughs> you know, and so um, uh, what I think you should do is for the next two months, as you're doing your freelance job, I think what yeah. you need to do while you're waiting to go to back to school and trying to make that big decision is hustle as much as you can. Yeah. Uh, for example, me myself, and I actually post this on Snapchat and Instagram all the time. I work from I wake up at six thirty every day, if not seven thirty, depending on how tired I am. And I work till six, and then I, what I usually do is from I work till five, and what I usually do is from six to one a.m. one thirty every day, Monday to Friday, if not longer on weekends, I'm hustling. Meaning, what I'm doing is that I'm either, either doing YouTube channels, I'm meeting with people like you, trying to help you guys out, and I'm doing freelance jobs on the side. And so what that does is that's creating many opportunities for me. But you, at such a young age, 18 years old, man, I was yeah. born in 19... <laughs> okay, don't tell me when you were born, okay? <laughs> but if I, if I were you, what I would do is that while you're making, doing that freelance job, is that look for jobs everywhere. Right now, with your experience. And are you getting an associate's degree with your current school? Is that what's happening right now? I think that's the sort of US equivalent, yeah. Okay, yes. So what you can do is that with your current experience, and when people ask you what experience you have, you can say you're working for a wedding company. <laughs> you could just say that. And what you should do is for the next two months before you make that final decision, the deadline for yourself, is try yeah. to find as many jobs as possible, full time yeah. jobs. Does that make sense? Um, yeah. And while and you'll you'll get a job, depending on how how hard you look. If I were you, if I was in your situation, this is what I would do. I would apply to 30, 40 jobs a day. Why? Yeah. Two months is only 60 days. Out of what? You're only 18? You have 60 more years to live, maybe. <laughs> so for the next 60 days, apply to as many jobs as you can while you're doing your freelance job and try to see what opportunities come up. Because you already have experience. What you have now, the experience you have, I don't have at all. You know, uh, Even compared to everyone else right now trying to get a job in the UK, in the US, they don't have college experience, but you do. So what does that mean is that you can actually find a job easily. So what you could do is for the next two months is try to find a job, an actual legit full-time job. Yeah. And if that doesn't go well, that's when you need to make a decision if you should go back to school or not. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's <laughs> certainly sounds sensible, yeah. Uh, because honestly, if I were you, I would go back to school. But yeah. I don't know your situation. I don't know everything about your situation. Um, you have a lot of life to live and as a developer if you which they tend to make good money you'll be able to pay off your loans 
unlike my friend who graduated in band and she specialized in clarinet, they, which, how's she gonna pay off her yeah. loans? <laughs> right? uh, so uh, you, you chose a good field. I mean, paying off your loans should be easy, especially if you occasionally do uh, freelance jobs on the side and use that to pay off your loans every month, that's nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know, so um, that's what I'm doing. On the side right now, I make about $1,000 a month. Yeah. So um, just on the side, on <laughs> top yeah. of my current salary. I'm, in, UK, in pounds, that's probably 12 to 1,300 pounds. So um, yeah. I think that's, that should be the route. That should be the route you try to go at. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, definitely. Um, one more thing. What yeah. would you suggest sort of learning next to go on to the next stage whilst I'm sort of like applying for your unis and jobs? What what sort of would you look for if like it was you? Uh, what kind of jobs? No, like um, what, what would you learn next after like I've got like HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So how, how good are you at JavaScript? Like you're comfortable with it? If I asked you to make um, loops and uh, print out um, yes. listed items or, uh, or you know, uh, un, you know ordered lists or unordered lists, you'll be able to do that, append it easily, you know, yeah. based on loops. Do you know how to create a yeah. function where if you click on the button, it'll create a hidden input and etc. Yeah. Oh, you know how to, okay. No hesitation, so you know how to do that. Okay. Do you know jQuery? Um, I've done a little bit in jQuery, not okay. much. jQuery is very easy to use. You know why? The documentation online is amazing. <laughs> so if someone asks you, um, do you know jQuery? Honestly, what I would do is work on jQuery for two weeks. Not now, just look for a job. For the next two yeah. months, look for a job while you slowly improve your skill. But I would yeah. make sure I get comfortable with jQuery, but don't get rusty in JavaScript. That's what happened to me. So what am I doing now? I'm learning JavaScript again on Treehouse. <laughs> okay, um, and now you, uh, I actually spoke to my technical director and he said one thing that developers all need to have is that they can't just be comfortable in front end or they can't just be comfortable in back end. They need to be full stack. Um, and that's what a lot of companies are looking for now. Um, I'm not sure what's important in your area. In Orange County, where I live, PHP is very popular, MySQL. Um, so I think what you need to do is look online and look at what backend languages are popular in your area. Yeah. Um, what I would do is focus on PHP and MySQL. Yeah. Okay. Those are the main backend languages you want to learn. Now, Java, uh, libraries, JavaScript libraries are important to learn in the front end. After jQuery yeah. is AngularJS, Angular 2. Um, that would be a good front end development um, you know, library you can learn. In the front end, that's what I would do. But in regards okay. to back end, I don't know what's popular in the UK. I think that's what you need to focus on. Try to get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can do it, man. You got passion. I could tell. Yeah. Definitely. I know you can do it. Anything else I can help you with? Um. No, that's it. Yeah, you've been really helpful. I'll uh, definitely look at some. <laughs> okay. Just apply for jobs. Just you get can... it done and then decide. <laughs> yeah. You can do it, Alfie. I could, I could tell you, you know, you got, you've been in school before I, I even made, before I even started learning code. <laughs> so I've been only working with, studying code for the last 11 months. That's it. So um, I, you're probably even better than me. So if I can get a job, you surely can, man. So for the next two months, make sure you get, update me. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to message you, man. You know what people are surprised of is when I actually, when the people do Skype calls with me, Google Hangouts, or we'll talk on the phone. They're always surprised that I follow up with them. I always tell them, hey, how has it been? Oh, oh, a lot of people have told me I didn't get the chance to learn code yet. But, you know, just do yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. The next 60 days will determine how your life will be for the rest of your life. Think of it that way. Yeah. Right. Nothing else? Nothing else, that's okay. it. That's well, great. for people on YouTube, if they want to see this, um, do you want them to add you anywhere on Twitter, or Instagram, or anything? Yeah, put my Twitter in it. That's on oh, Twitter. Great. Okay. All right, guys, okay. make sure you add Alfie <laughs> on Twitter. But hey, hit me up, though, whenever you, you, you can. I'll try to respond as soon as I can also. Okay. Oh. oh, thank you. Thanks for your time. No problem, Alfie. All right, have a good day, man. Okay, thanks. See ya. Bye.